I'm finally getting a chance to ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway for the very first time. So how about you and I dive right in? Alrighty, we're making it closer and closer to the interior space of the Chinese theater. Love this fountain over here, look at that. Okay, so Michael, how excited are you to ride Mickey and Minnie's Runway Railway? You probably never would have even thought we'd be able to do yeah, this right now, huh? Thought, no. So how? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so, still going. so um, yeah. okay. So how excited are you? Like, are I'm you so like? Excited. I don't know. So what are you expecting? I don't even know what to expect. Like, I have no idea how the queue line is. I have. I mean, I know how the ride is, but. Ooh, wow! The interior is beautiful, just like how it was with uh, the old. A uh, great movie ride, which I've been able to do. Really awesome attraction. But, uh, and you know, unfortunately it had to go. I was sad, but I think that this might be a great replacement. And we got some Mickey and Minnie Runway Railway posters going on here with the movies. How cool. I just love the interior. It's so beautiful. Now with our version of Mickey and Minnie's, I do wonder how they're gonna change up the queue space because they're building the building from the ground up. It's not uh, an existing structure like the one here at Hollywood Studios. So I'm wondering if some of the interior space is gonna be different. Wonder if the ride layout is gonna be different too. I don't know, I'm excited to see in 2023 once it opens up. Look, boom, right there. Hit Mickey, found one. There's one right there, do you see it? Right there. I like how they kept the same kind of art style as well, but just like updated it with all the Mickey stuff and just kind of kept the same look of the Chinese theater in general. So I, I really, I really like how they, they kept the same art style. And of course the pre-show is not working, but uh, in the pre-show like the screen cracks open and then there's a bunch of fog and we go through into the cartoon world here. And apparently there's a bunch of hidden Mickeys and stuff written on the walls in here and you kind of like have to find it. And it's so difficult, but I am like freaking out right now because this is one of my like rides that I've been dying to go on. It's on the, it's been on the list forever. And oh my God, look, you can see the inside of the show space right here. Ooh, here comes our train. It's so cool. The trackless technology is, is something else. Look, it has like... Yeah, it looks like, railroad. looks like the railroad's yeah. down there. How cool. Oh, here we go. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. It's so vibrant.
my god, it looks like he's like coming off the wall. Okay, we just got off and I'm sure throughout the video you heard me. It, the whole time just wow, wow, wow. The the technology, the projection technology they're using is like outstanding. It is outstanding. Some of the projections are so realistic that it looks like it's in 3D. It looks like it's coming off of the, the projection surface. And that, that other room that was like a huge dome where they're projecting that one scene where we're going down the waterfall, that was really cool. And like the part that gave me the chills the most was that finale room where everything changed. It was like a really dark, like something was gonna happen. And then boom, it changed to like a completely different setting. That was, that was intense. That was, that was such a cool ride. Even you're just smiling the whole way through. It's such a happy ride. Uh, you know what? Shout out to the Imagineers because they did Mickey and Minnie and all the classic characters justice. That was so cool. I cannot wait for that to go to Disneyland. Wow, you know, we're going on it again. That was, that was awesome. We're, go we're doing it again. Another fun poster, Mickey Mouse in Tokyo Go. I mean, look at that. I wonder if that's hand painted. Because if it is, shout out to the artists that did that mural. My Ooh. goodness. Round two, here we go. Goofy's in there. He is in there ready to go. Oh my goodness, look at the colors. 1928. Wow. That was a cool reveal. Oh wow. This is, like I'm seeing so many new things. Oh my god, the cactuses are like little hidden Mickeys. Oh wow, do you see that? What's like a projection, what's not? This is so, I love this ride. This is, this is one of my new favorites. Oh, I love that effect. Nothing can stop Disney from this amazing technology. I gotta say that, dang. This is like nuts. Oh, and as you're walking out, there's Walt Disney and his train at Disneyland. That's so cool. Well, you know what? If Walt was still alive and he was able to go on this ride, I think he would tear up. I think he would love the technology that's in this. He'd be, he'd be proud. Oh, look, and like we return back to the real world and we busted out of the screen again and look, it says the end. So cool, the little touches here. Nothing short of amazing. Yeah, even the second time now, I'm seeing things that I didn't even see the first time. It's like so vibrant that you're looking in all directions. And when you're in a totally different car, 
the movement's completely different, so it throws you off. It's just, it's kind of like, you know, Rise of the Resistance, how both the cars are a different experience each time. It's, it's like this, but probably multiplied by two because there's twice as many vehicles. So, I mean, you, you could go on this ride 20, 30 times and still see something that you didn't see before. I mean, it's, it's incredible. They, wow, I mean, shout out to the Imagineers. This, uh, this is impressive. If you get a chance to come out to Hollywood Studios, definitely do this. So if it's an hour long wait or two hour long wait, I, I say it's worth it. it. It's just, it's a happy ride. It makes you feel good, makes you smile. And it's just so colorful and enjoy. I think this is gonna be the biggest hit at Disney, uh, Disneyland in, in a long time, since Rise of the Resistance, which is not that long ago, but like in a long time, I think, you know, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is gonna be something for Toontown that is just gonna bring so much new life into that area of the park and make Disneyland all around just, I don't know, Disneyland's going to be, it's words can't describe the, the attractions coming into Disneyland now and in the future. And it's just like, including this one, wow. It uh, shook. <laughs> Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you love theme park content, feel free to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so stay up to date on every time I post new videos. Thank you so much for my members on Buy Me A Coffee, my theme park obsession members. I'll leave the link down below if you want to check that out and help support the channel, but I appreciate it so much. I'll leave their names right here on the screen. You guys mean the world to me and you've helped out so much. But other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.